Come on, have breakfast. Hey, gum, it's quiet out there today. I don't know what's happened. Oh, yeah. We're in lockdown. I forgot. <laughs> Somebody's been doing the puff over there. I'll show you. We're going. Oh, where are you going now? Okay, okay, can we go down now? Yes, take a step. With me. I don't know, I'll take yourself, okay. You come in. You don't wait there. I don't know. You trust me. Now into week three of uh, the lockdown, the isolation, quarantine, whatever you call it. Um, it's all right. I've got plenty to do. We're going shopping today. Well, I am. Jeanette's got to stay in the car. Uh, it's got to be like that for her for the next uh, 11 weeks. Um, but I mean, she's keeping herself busy with her wallpaper in and, and uh, doing that kind of thing. I feel like apprehensive. Apprehensive. I mean, I don't want us to get this, but the death rate in Britain at the moment is almost a thousand people a day. It's so sad. I'm going to get a shopping list together uh, because I'm overbuying, thinking that it's going to run out. Um, so far, so far, shops have been okay where we are. I mean, the one shop where we go is excellent, the Aldi. And the co-op um, has everything, but didn't have any eggs the other day. Okay, get a shower, sort myself out, off to the shops. Wash my hands afterwards. See whether or not there's queues again today for the shopping. I used to worry, thought I was going mad in a hurry, getting stressed, making that. 
So he's, he's, he's dead unchuffed with me. Aren't you, mate? Oh, you're not too bad. Oh. We're still mates, are we? Well, I didn't see you there, did I? Crawling under my feet all the time. You've got loads of food. What's your problem, mate? Hmm? I stepped on him by accident. Well, I didn't step on him. Bumped into him. And he whined. Is he over here? Sorry? Where's he gone? He's here. He's underneath my chair. I know where he's gone. He's underneath my chair. I'll show you. There he is. What are you doing underneath my chair? What if this collapses with me on it and you underneath it? Are you quick enough to move? I hope it's quick enough to move. No, this is, this is the fireplace, if I can get the lid off. Oh, well, it's probably good stuff. Proper, proper gloss. Well, I can't get rid of that's what I'm on about. Yeah. Oh. Why don't you use that pliers? Oops, it's off. Oh, it's alright. Okay. Yeah. When did you last use it then? Oh. Yeah, I can use Five it. Five years ago. Oh, I don't know. Oh, that's it. I'm not Oh dear. Sorry about that. Oh dear. Get a beer and have a, have a settle down for a minute. I'm on a roll. Okay. Go like a bolt a gate. When you when you're doing stuff, you should take it easy a little bit. Not go like it at a bolt a gate. I've noticed that when you get up in the morning, you're like you're up. So. Yeah, but that's how you get heart attacks. That music must be annoying. Stay 
the architect William Adams had died before the rooms were completed. The solution was simple. Adam's yeah, you're you're really interested in stately houses. Honestly. I'm watching it, and if I'm watching it, I want the sound to work. Thank you very much. Stately houses. Okay, fair enough. <sighs> so what stately house are they at? I haven't got a clue because I couldn't hear. Well, it's a Scottish stately house. It's near uh, Forth Road Bridge in Scotland, on the Forth River. Yeah. Forth 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 Railway Bridge. Sorry, I should say it's near there. I wouldn't like to live there, it'd be a bit drafty. They might not even want you there. There you go. Oh yeah, easily. Oops. So a problem with stripping. Well, I've never had a problem with stripping. Have you? Um. Night night Felix. Oh, you're awake, are you? I suppose you want supper before going to bed bed. Mm.